All right, welcome everyone to this wonderful special event, Sunday the 31st. That's right, we're going to be hosting a special family magic show for Visions. That's right, we're going to be helping out, doing some fundraising, some fun stuff. So at this time, I'd like to introduce myself. Hi everyone, my name is Omar Illusion. Want to say welcome, want to say thank you. For those of you who are on Facebook watching, if you can kindly like, share this with anyone that you know, omarillusion.nyc, you will actually see the link there to not only join us here, but to also give donations. So we kind of like to ask everyone to join in because every little bit helps. Um, if you guys are into cooking, actually, we're going to be having a cookbook for sale as well, also on the website for Visions, which you can find on omarillusion.nyc. So at this time, I want to welcome everyone. Oh, thank you all so much. I can see every single one of you. Hello, hello. We're going to start saying hi with some of you. Let me see. Who do we have? I believe there's a Maureen I would like to say hi to. Hello, Maureen. Can you unmute for just a moment? Hi. Hi, Maureen. Let me see if I can find you. So Maureen, while we're trying to find you on our, on our page, can I ask you, uh, what's your name, Maureen? Uh, my name is Maureen. Very good, I try to see if you were paying attention. Maureen, I would normally ask you how old you are, but I know it's very rude to ask a lady her age. So how much do you weigh? Um... I'm just kidding, don't worry, you don't have to answer that. Uh, have you ever done a magic trick before? Uh, no. No, so today would be the first time uh, helping out a magician? Sure. Awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, are you good with numbers? Yes. Colors? Yes. Letters? Yes. Okay, I'm going to test you. A, B, what comes after B? C. Oh, you speak Spanish too. That's really cool. All right. Um, one, two, what comes after two? Three. Very good. All right. I'm going to test you. Most people don't get this right. W, X, what comes after X? Y. Oh, it's part of the show. That's why. Just answer the question. We can keep going, okay? W, X, what comes after X? Why? Oh, I just told you why, Maureen. You, you know, if we keep this up, I'm not sure if this is going to work out too well, but let, let's try this better. Um, if, if we tried it with cards, are you good with card tricks? Uh, I think. Do you like card tricks? Yes. Awesome. This is what we're going to do. Can everybody see me well? All right. This is what we'll try with my cards. Now, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm on a little bit of a budget, so it is a different kind of card trick, okay? What I'm going to try to do is counting to six with Maureen, if you can count with me. One, two, two three, three, four, five, and? Six. Very good. Maureen, do you know what half of six is? Three. Very good. One, two, three. Now those cards are going to go inside of this bag and we're going to pretend they disappeared. Even though they don't, they stay right here inside the bag. We pretend they disappeared. So when I take a bow, this is when everybody claps. Does everybody understand, Maureen? Yes. Okay. Now, some of you may be on Facebook and I can't hear you clapping, nor can I see you. So if you can, in the chat, you're going to type uh, LOL. You can write ha ha or J-A-J-A, -J -A, your choice. Maureen, we're going to try it again. How many did we start with? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, Maureen, how many uh, is half of six? Three. That's right. One, two, three. Now, I want you to understand, if these three cards go in there and I take a bow, those of you on Zoom, if you'd like to show us applause without unmuting, you can touch the reaction buttons and you will see an applause button and a thumbs up. Either one is good for me to be able to see you, okay? Um, we had... I'm sorry, I, I lost where I was. Let me start again. We started with one, two, three, four, five, six cards. We take half of six, Maureen, which is? Three. That's right, one, two, three. Now understand, if three cards go in the bag, I should only be counting one, two, three cards in my hand, right? It gets yeah. weird if I start counting one, two, three, four, five, six cards, throw them inside the bag, even though I only started with one, two, three. Did I lose anybody? <laughs> I see a couple. You know what? I'm going to try it a little differently, okay? Yo tengo uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis cartas. See, Maureen? Just like Dora, right? Yeah. Voy a coger uno, dos, tres cartas. Tíralo adentro de el uh, bag. <laughs> I'm sorry. I missed that episode. So if we wave the hand, I snap the fingers, I can still show you uno, two, 
three, four, five, six cards. I take a bow. What do I see and hear everybody do? Beautiful. And Maureen, you did such a wonderful job. You know what? I was going to invite you over here so this way you can help me out in front of me, but it, it might be a little difficult to do that. So Maureen, I'm going to try to see if we can borrow one more volunteer. Can we give Maureen a big round of applause for doing a great job? Look at that. They love you. They love you. Now, I think I might be, uh, ooh. Do, do you guys hear like a squeaky noise? I keep hearing squeaking and popping. Hold on a sec. What was that? <gasps> My wife, Lavinia, is actually in the other room right now. And uh, I don't know if she's on. I'm going to check to see if she's on. Shh, don't tell her anything, okay? Uh, Hello. Oh, look who we have. <laughs> see, the thing is, I don't know how well you guys know this house, but we all here love to play jokes on each other. So what I'm going to do is show you guys a fun little prank we could try to play. Do you guys like Pringles? I love Pringles. And the cool thing about this, if you can empty it out to make sure that there's nothing inside and get a really big spring, you can usually find these at a fun shop or a magic shop. And look, we're going to stuff it right in there. Yeah. There we are just to make sure it's all the way on. And now, shh, don't say anything. We're gonna bring it right there next door so this way she can have some treat. You're gonna see from behind the curtain how we actually run our show. Hey, love. Hello. I was trying out um, so, some, uh, so, some new snacks. Would you like some? Maybe. They, they're delicious. <laughs> You promise? I, I promise. Here. Shoes, I got me some pistachio. What? Pistachio. They're good. Thank you. It's pistachios. Mm -hmm. Where did you get pistachios? From there. You gave it to me. It's pistachios, but that's impossible. <laughs> oh my God. She got me again. So love, we have I all our friends here. <laughs> <laughs> we have all our friends here. They're actually curious what you were doing. I'm gonna spotlight you for a second. What okay, so currently I was working on a simple butterfly balloon that you guys can probably do with just regular round balloons. So this little guy, they just with rounds because I know it's a little bit hard for you guys to get these long entertainer ones. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This little butterfly one with simple, just round balloons. They get it like hard to get it over the other side. All right, did anyone even bring balloons? I can see in the gallery. Raise your hands if you happen yeah. to have balloons with you. All right, so then I can just show you how I do them. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So I'm going to go through this first. <laughs> All right. So I get my tiny little round balloon. I thought I was going to look. Who always does this? Anyway, tiny little round balloon, right? So you guys didn't know that we can actually twist these. Kind of get a little squish. We're going to find the middle of this balloon. And you can actually twist it like I would one of the straight. Are you trying to follow? I, I am. I, I made it around the one. <laughs> He's trying real hard. That's okay. So then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use fancy little red ones, these little heart balloons here, and I'm going to have these become the wings for my little tiny butterfly. That's not healthy. <laughs> All right, so as you're going through with this, I'm going to fill up my little round heart balloons like this, right? Just a little bit, not all the way. One for one. Sorry. I told you I was going to make dinner later. Like, you couldn't wait. It was fun. All right, anyway, so we have heart one right here. It looks kind of weird right now. All right. And then we second one. We're going to fill it up about the same size. 
close. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing like I did with that little yellow round one. I'm going to twist it so my heart now looks something like this. And I'm twisting it into the yellow one that I had created that's going to be my little butterfly's body. Got the second heart. Squish it down to the middle. Make that weird little shape again. Twist it all up in here. It's all discombobulated right now. And here we go. So now your little butterfly will have two ring, two little wings on the side. And then to just dress them up real cute, Sharpie is your best friend. So right here. You don't even have to make them perfect little circles. So. And then a simple, happy little butterfly just made with round balloons. Another the crazy little fancy stretched out ones. That I'll show you in a sec. All right. Um, then different things that I like to do. So I can show you guys the basic dog balloon. This one's a little bit bigger than the regular twisted ones that you see at parties. This is called a 350. Um, so it's like a three inch with balloon with a 50 inch length. Anyway, all right, so back to our dog. Basic dog that you guys see at parties, about the size of like a really big kiwi. And we're gonna twist that off. We got one. Do another kiwi, really big kiwi. Two, and another one. So now we have three. All right, twist that together. I'm gonna repeat that one process a few more times. I'm gonna do a tiny little bubble for the neck. Two kiwi sizes, big kiwi sizes. So now we have our head, your feet, a little bit of a body, two more kiwi sizes, and basic balloon dog. When you wanna get really fancy, then you can start adding eyes and noses and ears. Um, you can even take one of those heart balloons, like so, make them even more cute. Just add a little tongue to there. So, different ways that you guys can use balloons um, and different sizes. Uh, well, I showed them how to do a little butterfly, tiny little butterfly. And then I showed them different sizes of balloon dogs or different styles. Can I do a magic trick? I guess. Awesome. <laughs> Doesn't get to see you people so much anymore. <laughs> All right. Did you guys enjoy that? I'm sure some of you are going to be able to try that when you get home. Now, in case some of you were watching in the background and saw me accidentally eat a balloon, I'm going to tell you a secret. It was bubble gum. So repeat after me. Don't try this at home, okay? You go to your friend's house. Yeah, and you tell them not to do it either because it's a dangerous trick. But speaking of tricks, we're gonna try to see if we can show you guys one magic trick. I need to borrow anybody here wearing a yellow shirt. Does anybody have a yellow shirt? I think I see someone. Hello. Is there a Jackie there? Jackie Zoo? Yeah. Good afternoon. Good morning. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good. What's your name? Jackie Zoo. Jackie, you're Jackie? Hello. Hello. I see you guys. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you yeah. do me a favor? Slide over just a tad bit so I can see you. Perfect. Good. Now, this is what we're going to try with you, okay? Um, I actually, What do you have with you? Coins? Cards? What would you bring with you? Coin. You have a coin? Can you show me which coin you have? Oh, a little lower. Right there. Right next to your brother's head. Let me see. what. Oh, that's a really... What is that? A nickel? A quarter? Here, this is what I'm going to try with you guys. That's a small little coin. I'm going to teach you how to make it a bigger coin, okay? Now, in order to do that, we're going to show you guys from right here. Um, can you see anything inside the bucket? Mm. No, it's looking right at you. There's a little eyeball in there. <laughs> well, I want you to make sure that nothing inside the bucket. This is what we're going to try. We're going to teach you how to make a little bit of extra money. Now, this is the secret, okay, Jackie? It's not an object money is an idea can you do me a favor with your finger hold up your hand and draw a circle for me 
Perfect, good. And I want you to grab that right there in front of you and hold it up. Can you see that there? No, 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 that, 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 that's chocolate. That's not good. Drop that one. Yeah, we need to make another one. Nice and round. Grab the coin and very carefully, I want you to just place it in the bucket. Ready? Toss it in the bucket. Wait a second. Did you just... <laughs> you just made a coin appear, my friend. You know what? Let's try that again. Maybe your brother might be able to do it. We have one coin right now so far. Can you do me a favor, brother? Can you grab a coin also? Show it to everyone, and I want you to toss it in the bucket. Ready? One, two, three, go! Wait a second. <laughs> two of them so far. All right, you know what? If you can do it that way, this is what we're gonna try. Since you were able to do it that way, we're gonna try it with a few more of you, okay? Now I see Eileen is there, Maureen. Can you do me a big favor? Grab a coin. That's right, imaginary. Toss it in. That's right, one for Maureen. There we go. Oh, one more from Jackie. Say, oh, wait a second. That, that's a lot. All right, one more. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't need that many. Okay, can you stop throwing them? <laughs> yeah, stop throwing them, please. I really would appreciate it. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> you guys made a little too many now. See, but uh, you know what? I have an idea. Jackie, since you guys started this trick with me, this right here, that one is for you, okay? I'm going to email it to you in just a little bit. And all the rest of the coins that we just had, that's what we call taxes, okay? So I'm going to hold on to those for you. And Jackie, I do appreciate you. You and brother helping me out. Uh, I was waiting for her this whole time. Is there anybody named Riley that can help us? Is there a Riley? Hello, Riley. How are you? Hi. Good. And who's that sitting next to you? Is that Jesse? My Jessie? friend Jesse. Hi. Well, hello, you two. Um, have you ever tried a card trick before? Um, yes. You have. Do you mind if I try one with you? Sure. Awesome. Now, I have the card sitting right here, okay? This is the fun thing that I'm going to try with you. Most magicians, when they do a card trick, all right, they can do stuff with cards by feel. For example, if I just dig in and just by feeling alone, I'm actually able to find specific cards that I like. As you can see, those are two aces. Those are the black aces. And then I have here our red ace, the ace of hearts. So the last one, it gets a little harder to find, especially with these many cards there. But I'm able to find them. What I'm going to need your help with is to try to find the rest of them. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to try it out by feel. Now, I know that sounds strange because you're all the way over there and I'm all the way over here, but I want you in your mind to imagine like my hand is right under yours and you're able to wave your hand over each card, okay? Mm -hmm. The red one, we're going to pretend like that's uh, summertime. Now, you know when you step out in the summer and you feel the nice warm uh, sun hitting your arm? That's going to be the red card. Now, for the black card, we're going to pretend, you see how that looks like a tree? We're going to pretend like, you know, when you walk underneath the tree in the summertime and you feel that cool breeze, that's what those are going to represent. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to shuffle these cards right here. Okay. Can you hear them shuffling? Okay. Can everybody see them shuffling? Awesome. Now, I know a lot of people think that magicians try to cheat with cards. So I want you to see down here that all of these cards are actually messed up. Red and red, black and black. They're all intertwine what i'm gonna ask of you riley and jesse who would like to go first um i will who and which one are you riley or jesse riley how do i know um <laughs> i'll trust you riley don't worry now out of all these cards uh we're gonna start right here from the top now remember as i hold this out like this your job is to feel from there whether you think it's uh hot or cool okay Ready, Riley? Do you think this is a hot card or a cool card? Uh, hot. A hot card? That would go on the red cards there. And the next card, do you think it's a hot or a cool card? Cool. Cool. Okay. Now, I don't want to have to go through all of these cards because that's going to take forever. So I'm going to go about this many, okay, just so we can rush through it. I want you to go as fast as you can, and I'm going to try to keep up. Starting with this card, is this hot or cool? Cool. Cool. 
Once you see the cards uh, in front of you, let me know if it's hot or cool. Ready? Go. Um, hot. Hot. And this one? Hot. You're really concentrating, huh? You're trying to see if you can really feel it. All right. Next card there. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Just in case. I wanted to see myself if it was actually working. All right. We'll do about four or five more. We'll do this very fast. Is this hot or cool? Uh, hot. Hot. Next one. Uh, cool. Cool. Are you consulting with your sister there? What do you think this is? Uh, cool. Cool. This one? Hot. Hot. And the last one? Cool. Cool. All right. We're going to try it with your sister there. I'm going to say, since you're Riley, that's Jesse. Is that right? Yeah. All right, Jesse, we're going to try the same thing, only in reverse, okay? okay? This time, for cool, we're going to mix it up and put that on the red. And for hot, we're going to mix it up and put it on the cool, okay? So okay. this way, I don't want you to think that I'm making you stop at any point. Can you say stop for me? Stop. Right there. Look, I'm going to cut the cards again so we don't have so many. You're going to tell me if these are cool or hot. Remember, okay. it's going to be reversed, okay? So okay. do you think this is cool or hot? Hot. Hot. Cool or hot? Cool. Cool. Cool or hot? Cool. Hot. Hot. We have about, we'll, we'll do about four or five more. Go ahead, ready? Hot. Hot. Cool. Cool. We have three more. Hot. 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 Hot and? Cool. Cool. Now, you see, even though you guys are there and I'm here, can you see everything clearly in front of you? Yes. yes. I've never moved anything other than where you told me to move them. Is that right? Now, yeah. Yeah. being that you two were able to connect with me in a decent way, this should work out where at least one of these cards should match. So let's say the red, it should have at least one red card. That's pretty cool. You guys did that. Now, two of them people start to think maybe that's luck. You know, there's no way they can get three cards in a row or even four cards. What if they were able to get all of the cool cards with the cool cards, the hot cards with the hot cards? As you can see, you two working together were able to actually make the cool go with the cool, the hot go with the hot, separated perfectly. Thank you, you two. You two You're did welcome. an amazing job. Can we give them both a big round of applause? Thank you all so very much for helping me out. I'm going to see who else do we have that, that we can bother. I think yes. we need some There we are. Don't worry, Carly. I see you when you start moving. I'll bring you right back. Hello, Alyssa. Hi. Bienvenue. How are you? Where are you I'm from? I'm good. I'm from Floral Park. <laughs> Floral Park. Oh, you're all the way out in Long Island. I'm all the way in my house. Yeah, that's oh. what we're doing right now. Now, I, I, I wanted to try one thing with you. Do you happen to have any coins or cards on you? Uh, no. <laughs> Don't worry. I have my cards here. Now, these, all these cards, are, like I said, were shuffled earlier, right? Now, these are all mixed up in a weird way, but we were able to divide them up thanks to uh, our two friends helping us out before. Do you have a favorite color that you like from a pack? The black cards or the red cards? Um, the red cards. The red cards? Awesome. Do you have a favorite, a heart or diamond? Um, yeah, a diamond. You like the diamonds? I kind of like the diamonds too. So you know what? We're going to use the diamonds for this effect, okay? Now, I hope this works. Because the idea is to try to see if we can organize the cards together using just spelling. Are you good at spelling? Uh, I'm okay at it. It's okay. I went to public school too. We'll do this together, okay? Now, okay. the hardest part about this is to make sure that we have all the cards. Yep, we do. But as you can see, they're all a huge mess. Mm-hmm. Again, I just want to make sure we have them all. Uh, I think we're missing the two. I don't see the two diamonds. Two of hearts. Da, 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 da. So sorry. While we're waiting, can you tell everybody a joke? Uh, sure. Um... Um, <laughs> perfect. I love it. That was hilarious. I, I've never heard that joke. That was a, I've never, is that your own joke? Yes. 
<laughs> I'll give you one then to think about. Um, why was Tigger hanging out with Piglet in the toilet? Because <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because they were uh, uh, Piglet was hanging out with uh, Tigger in the toilet because they were looking for poo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that's a dirty joke. Don't ever repeat that. But you should tell your friends when you have a chance. Remember, never do it at home. Go to your friend's house. Okay. So um, <laughs> if I were to try to spell out all these cards to make them look correct, it might be a difficult task to do, especially with the fact that they're all mixed up. Can you see that? None of them yeah. are in order? Okay. So what I normally would do, uh, I, I would spell out the cards one by one. So the first card would be an ace. So that would be A, S, E. And we would have an A, a seven. Why is it a seven? Um, because it has seven diamonds on it. Th that is a seven of diamonds, but I spelled ace. Um, how do you spell ace? A C E. A C and E. E. And look, you got the ace. I think it's the way I spelled it that was wrong. So if I spelled two, that would be T O O, right? Uh, I spell it like. The number two or like? The number two. Well, that's the number we need. So how do you spell the number two? T-W-O. Let's try that. T-W-O. And that would... Okay. I, I, apparently, you know how to spell numbers better than I do. Um, so what would be the next number? Ace, two. That would be three. That would be um, T-R-E-E, -E, right? Uh. No, I spell it T H R E E. Let's do it together. Ready? T T H R E E. And if you got it right, which oh, you did get it right. Okay, <laughs> three. All right, I can do four because it's smaller letters. I'm sure I got it. Ready? F O R E. Four. Like before, the the seven comes up. All right, that wasn't right. Uh, did I, did I spell it wrong again? I did. Yes. Can you help me out, Alyssa? Go one letter at a time. Ready? F O U R. What am I? If I am, you are too. So if you spelled four, F O U R. Nope, that's a six. That was close. That was close. You know what happened? I was supposed to turn over on the letter R, but that was my fault, not yours, because I'm going to try to do five. It's five, five is spelled. Um, Five is spelled with letters. That's all I know. How do you spell five? Um, F F I V E. V, E. And F five. I Look at you. All right, I can do six because that's even less letters than, than five. That's uh six S Y X six. That that's not six. That's one number off. All right, I I, I need you, Alyssa. I need you, Alyssa. How do you spell six? S I X. No, it's with an I. So with an I, yeah. we okay. That that worked. So you know what? I think seven I got because as you see, it worked out every time for me. So <laughs> S E V E N. And guess what we have? That's right, number seven. We'll add that there on top of all those cards. Eight. I think I can do A T E. Right? That's how you spell eight. Um. No. <laughs> no. All right. Help me out, Alyssa. How do you spell eight? Um, E I G H T. G H T. And that would be? Oh. Eight. Look at that. Like a champ. How do you spell nine? Um, N I N I N E. No, that's ninny. That's not how we say that. That is, you just called me a ninny. What? <laughs> that, that, was that right? All right. Well, I'll try it. I'll try it. N I N E. All right. You're a champ with this, but we have one last card. The number 10, I can guarantee you. No matter what happens now, I can spell it anyway. And T-I-N, that makes the number seven. <laughs> you know what? You're a lot better speller than I am. But thank you so much, Alyssa. Much appreciated. Thank you for the You're help. Welcome. I'm going to see if we can bother Lavinia and see what she's doing right now. Let's see where we're at. Hey, love. What are you making now? I'm currently working on a smaller bouquet. Mm -hmm. So working on different little flowers you guys put together, or me, to put together. Fun, simple. All right. 
Hold on one second. Are these second. going out to anyone or are you making them for anybody special? Um, these are going to be for deliveries tomorrow. <laughs> cool. <I know> so <laughs> I'm getting a heads up on some stuff too, but also being able to show you guys how to do some simpler type of design so you don't have to go crazy. Not that you can see the whole house right now, but there's like balloons everywhere. See some of them. All right. So finishing up my bow. Okay. Uh, we are actually uh, doing a fundraiser for everyone in Visions. So if you guys have a chance and are enjoying the show, please go check them out. We tag the link inside of the Facebook Live. So if you guys are capable of seeing it, click on that, make the donations. I understand times are a little rough right now, but if you do have anyone that you know can help and donate, please share the link with them. Let them know you guys are having a wonderful time. How are you guys doing? You guys having fun? Oh, man, I appreciate you guys. And those of you who are interested in cooking, just want to remind you, Visions has a special cookbook that they're also selling online. Also check out at the same link. Uh, Visions uh, will be on the one, two, third part of the website. So when you get a chance, scroll down, you will see the link. Now, I'm going to try to see if we can try one more magic trick. Is there anybody who hasn't helped us out just yet? Oh, I see an Elena and Lucas. Is there an Elena and Lucas? Yes. Yeah. Hello. Are Hello. you Lucas or are you Elena? Who are you? I'm Lucas. This is my mom. <laughs> hello, hello. Don't worry. My name is Omar. What's your name? Um, what's your name? Lucas. 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 Pleasure to meet you, Lucas. How do you spell that? With letters? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, Lucas. Have you ever helped out a magician before? Um, I have like in like a basement. It was really cool, but it was also with code. So. We did with basement. one of Ella's shows with the oh code my classic God. show. We did. That, so you know what? I think you'll be the perfect candidate. Would you mind helping yeah. me for a second? Yes. All right. I'm gonna change screens for a second just so you can see me better. Okay. Mm. Now, Lucas, just to make sure you can see me well, what color do you see there? Blue. Blue. I appreciate you saying blue and not aqua, not teal. We're just going to go with blue. Now, I know this might sound weird. Is blue your favorite color? Yes. Ta-da. Did you see that? <laughs> like magic. But I, have, I have a lot more, but that's you, like my number one. If you have a lot more, then I'm going to ask you, what is your 17th favorite color? Um, <laughs> Take your time. White. white. You like white? Yes. Well, I, I, I'm not sure if this will work. Uh, I'm going to try to change it from blue to white. Say change. Change. And look like magic. It changes. <gasps> see? As you push it through, it changes color. But you see, that's not magic. My mom and dad, they call that doing laundry. Yeah. Can you help <laughs> me out, buddy? Uh, wait. What happened? That's orange. Well, it's orange because orange means white in, in German, I think. Does oh. that, no, that doesn't sound right. Well, at, at least it did change color. And the blue one, look, it disappeared. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Now, you see, I, I see some of you guys are looking at my hand. There's nothing in my hand. Yes, I know. And in the chat, some of them are saying that it's in my other hand. Don't look there. Yeah, because if you look there, that's not what will happen. What actually happened is I made it disappear from my hand and jump all the way to Lucas's pocket. Yeah. Check that out. Lucas, check your pocket. I don't have pocket. Oh, it didn't stop there. It landed in your pocket, then it whooshed all the way back. At, oh, wait. Oh, you do have it. Let me see your hand. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you do, you, you know where it is. If you can do me a favor, take that, uh, uh, the blue handkerchief that you have there. I want you to toss it right at me so I can catch it in the middle of the air. Ready? One, two. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so sorry, Lucas. You gotta wait till I count to three before you throw it. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but that's all right. Thank you for helping me, Lucas. Let's give Lucas a big yeah. round of applause. Now I'm gonna see if I can borrow one more person. Is there an Ella that might be able to help us out? Yes. Hello, Ella. Good morning. Shalom. Where are you from? I don't know what that means. Oh, me neither. It was gibberish. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, if you don't mind me asking, are you good with colors and numbers and letters? Yeah. Awesome. So if you could be any kind of tree, what favorite color would you have? Green. Awesome. 
Well, this is not green. We had the blue handkerchief from before, and we also had the orange one right there out of these two colors. Do you like one over the other? I'll take orange. Take orange. Perfect. We can see that pretty well, but we're going to change the color of something a little bit bigger. While Lavinia is doing all that back there, can you see this? Yes. What color does that look like to you? Silver. Silver. Very good. Now, somebody might say white or maybe uh, because of the light. Now, I'm going to let you decide the color it changes into, okay? Now, you can pick any color. You can pick yellow. You can pick blue. You can pick orange. You can pick yellow. You can pick green or you can pick yellow. What color do you want to use? Yellow. Good choice. Good choice. Now, in order for that to work, I'm also going to need a magic word. Did you learn any magic words while watching the, uh, the show so far? No. No. Nope. I'll teach you some. You can use abracadabra, hocus pocus, green boogers, whatever you'd like. What's your favorite magic word? Hocus pocus. Hocus pocus? You don't like uh, green boogers? They're delicious. Not really. <laughs> oh, the crunchy ones are the best. Ask Lucas. He knows. Yeah, this is what we're going to try. To change the color of that stick to uh, from, from silver oh, yes. to your color, what color do you want? Purple. Purple. Ready? One, two, three. Say change the purple. Change the purple. And look, it changed the purple. Now say change back. Change back. Like magic. Look at that. Back to silver. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll be honest. It's a little tough. I'm trying to figure out how I would uh, change it to silver. But you know what? This is the problem. I'm going to uh, need Lavinia to help me out with this. Is that all right? Lavinia, can you hold on to this right here? Yes, sir. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm I can't hear it. <laughs> I can't hear you. Yeah, I can't hear you either. Me? I can't hear them. I can't us either. My battery died. I apologize. My battery died. So what I'm going to ask of you is to say the magic word, abracadabra, hocus pocus, and this is going to change to your favorite color, which is yellow? Yes. Perfect. Say abracadabra. Abracadabra. Now be honest. Do you believe it changed the yellow? Yes. You do. Does anybody yes. else care if it changes the yellow? Two people. <laughs> Love, do you care if it changes the yellow? Maybe. <sighs> you know what? I have to change the batteries in my mic pack. So we're going to forget about this trick for now. But let's give everybody here one more big round of applause. Love, thank you so much. I'm going to pass it on to you for just a moment while okay. I change the battery. All right, not a problem. <laughs> Now comes a portion of the show where you can ask the face painter, balloon artist, a magician a couple of questions. Feel free to unmute yourselves. Oh, can I um, ask the magician and the artist two questions? So for my birthday, it's a house painted dragon theme. So it's okay if you make a toothless balloon. If you look it up on the internet, I'm pretty sure you'll see it. It's a black dragon. Green on. And I have a question for you too. My birthday is pretty far away, but I would really like some princess balloons. It's October 29th. Yes. yes. So oh my goodness. A whole year probably in probably going to get balloons before that. <laughs> you think so? I think so, Lavinia. I think so, too. <laughs> and also because I'm the... Is there anything that you guys want to see me kind of make? Yeah. Can you make a balloon robot? A balloon robot? Oh, a robot. A robot. Okay, let me see. Here's some other suggestions. Maybe. All right. What well, we got? Eileen. Can I mute, babes? Poltergeist. Okay. If you guys would like to see a couple I didn't of cool hear things, <laughs> type them into the chat. Oh, that's right. I can do uh, make a Spider-Man balloon. All right. I see that. Danny, I will make you a Spider-Man balloon. Give me oh, one look second. Look how excited they are. <laughs> All right. All right. Spider-Man. While that's happening, I'm going to switch right on back. Hello. Hello, all. all. Right. I'm going to need to borrow one other person who can help us out for an awesome magic trick. Let me see who didn't we bother just yet. Ooh, I see the Bonners, I believe. Hello, hello. One moment. We're getting to you. And hi. Good morning. Hello. Can you see me well? <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello. And how are you? What's your name? 
My name is Aoife Philomena Bonner. Oh, <gasps> how long? That was a really but, long but, name. Sorry, you got behind you. Hi, my name is Nula. Nula Bonner. Nula Dipna Bonner, that's my full name. Wow, that you guys have really good memories. Uh, you know what? Let me test you out. Are you good with numbers too? Um, yeah, we're yes. good. Okay, okay, what's mommy's pin number? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't answer, don't answer. Okay, we don't know that. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Pretending um, to be him. Nine one one one. Really? Well, I'm gonna try something with you guys. I'm gonna switch screens for a second. Hello, hello, welcome back. And um, can you see this right here very well? Yep. Awesome. Yeah. This is what we're gonna try to do with you to teach everybody here some of the magic words. Because I realized I didn't teach you any magic words. What's your favorite magic word? Abracadabra. Ab. Or a cadaver. That's a perfect one. So we're going to try to make a bunny rabbit appear. Is that okay? Yeah, but we need to use the magic word abracadabra. So when I say three, your job is to say abracadabra so everyone can hear you. One, two, three. Abracadabra! Abracadabra! That was perfect. That was perfect. So I wanted to test to make sure you guys want to do it on the count of three. Those of you on Facebook, if you guys can join us in by typing the magic word, and those of you who are here on Zoom, for just a moment, you can unzoom. Uh, I'm sorry, unmute. And say abracadabra with us as well. Ready? One, two, three. Abracadabra! Look, like almost like magic. We practice it just right. Okay. Rabbit appear. Now, do me a favor. Say hocus pocus. Hocus pocus. Hocus pocus. That's the magic word that makes the bunny rabbit disappear. Did you see him go? Abracadabra. Well, if you it's say abracadabra, it's not going to just happen right away because I want you to see. First Why? of all, there's no bunny yeah. rabbit inside the hat. Do you see a bunny there? No. No. Sometimes people think they know where the bunny rabbit is. Do you think you might know where he went? Um, he hopped into my he hopped into my mouth and later he and later and then and then later I'll, he wait he went into my room and later I'm gonna see a bunny rabbit stuffed animal. Oh no no no! That, that they don't sleep under the bed. They go behind the fridge. You'll find about three baby bunny rabbits in every household. But you gotta clip <laughs> the tails. Yeah, but in order to make the bunny rabbit come back here, I want, I'm just kidding, don't worry. This is what we're gonna try to make Dumb. the bunny rabbit come back in here. I know some of you might be thinking, you know where the bunny rabbit is? He's not inside the hat. And look at that, he's not even behind the hat. No, can you guys say hocus pocus? Hocus, hocus pocus. pocus. And like magic, the bunny rabbit comes back. Did you see? No, it's a dove. It's not a bunny rabbit, it's a dove. No, we put the dove away already, sweetie. Yeah, we made sure of that. I know he was flying around, but we're doing a magic trick with the bunny rabbit, right? No, in the yes. picture, it's not a bunny rabbit. Th there's Look. no picture of a... Look. Yeah, there's not there. No, no on the other it. side. No, oh, on the other side. Wrong oh, the other side. I'm sorry. No. What do you mean? Yeah, you just told me to turn... Oh. Around. Oh, we said the wrong, <laughs> I think we said the wrong magic word. It's a ooh, ooh. hocus pocus and abracadabra. When you put that together, it's a new magic word. Can you say abracahocus? Abracahocus. That's the magic word that brings the bunny rabbit back. See, but now we get to show it. Yes, I saw the flower. She makes very pretty flowers. I know. No, on the board. It's not up there. You know what? I, I don't know how you guys can smell the flowers, but thank you for noticing. Oh. Okay, hold on. Not abracadabra. Not... I know what it is. I know what it is. It's a magic word that makes everybody happy, makes everybody feel good. Can everybody help me out with the magic word, please? Nice and loud. One, two, three. Please. Please. Okay, please. Don't beg. Don't beg. Just say please. Please. That's please. the magic word that brings the bunny rabbit back. See? No. Not a yeah, it's a panda. Okay, don't call me a panda. That hurts my feelings, okay? I'm trying to be nice and lose the belly, but Later, that's not... Later, something weird is going to happen. Oh, in the... <laughs> well, yeah, we saw a panda bear, we saw flowers, a bunny rabbit, and a bird, but I want to see who was paying attention. When I take a bow, what do you all do? Yeah. Wow. There we go. We had the applause. That's what I wanted to see. Let's check in on Lavinia and see what she's up to. Hey, love. What are you up to now? So I just finished this Spider-Man at the request of Danny. <laughs> I got that. All right, let's see. The robot was the other. Where is Danny? Hey, Danny, are you there? Yes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, any other requests? 
Oh, we got Eileen? one down here. One more request. Come on, Eileen. Nice and loud. A cat? Is that what you said? <laughs> that was very quick. Very quick. All right. Cat. Toss that one out. Carly. Can you see us? Would you like to help us out again? There you go. Now, Carly, you said you had coins with you. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to replace Spotlight for just a second, love. Hello, Carly. Hi. Uh, what kind of coins do you have? Are they all different or the same? They're all different. Because this is where it's going to be fun. I'm going to try to see if I can guess how much money. Okay? okay? Now, it's a weird question, but it is plausible because I don't know where you are. Is it American money or is it a whole bunch of different types of money? Um, just like coins. Mostly coins? Okay, that's all right. This is what I'll ask of you. With those 20 coins, I want you to think of any number between 1 and 10. Don't tell me what it is. Any number between 1 and 10. Whatever that number is, I want you to take that many coins from the table and put them in your pocket, okay? While you're doing it, I'll give everybody else something to think about, okay? Uh, purple has no bones. That's because ice cream comes from the sun. Carly, are you ready? Did you put that many coins in your pocket? Now, you should still have more coins on the table, right? I don't know how many they are. Can you count them without going like this? One, two, three, four. I don't want to see how many you have there. But I want you to count how many you have on the table. Let me know when you know that number. You have it? I'm going to pretend like the number is 11. I would like you to take whatever that number is, if it's a double-digit number, add it together. So if it's 11 coins, you would add 1 plus 1. That equals 2. If it was 12, you would add 1 plus 2 equals 3. Understand? Whatever that number is you're thinking about, add it up. That new number, I want you to take that many coins off the table and add them to your pocket. Okay? Go ahead. Once you've done that, give me a thumbs up. Now, for everyone else here. Oh, oh, I see a hand raised. Did you want to say something, sweetie? Yes, I did. I was just wondering if you could do a... A personal, a personal magic trick for me. <laughs> oh, most definitely. If you give me just a minute, once we finish this one, I'll try one more for you, okay? Carly, are you ready? No. Nope. Did you count how many were on the table? Okay. Did you add those numbers together? Did you take that new number, add, uh, take that many off the table, whatever that new number is? Take that many more off the table and put them in your That's pocket. What I'm doing right now. I'm Did doing... you do that already? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm okay. Once you did that, now you have coins on the table and a lot more coins in your pocket. Is that right? This is where it's going to get a little bit more fun. Grab a bunch of coins from the table and hold them in your hand. So now we're going to have coins on the table, coins in your hand, and coins in your pocket. Okay. Once you have that done, let me know. For the rest of you just joining us, thank you all again for having fun with us. Uh, we're doing a fundraiser for Visions. You can check us out at omarolusion.nyc. Go down a little further. You'll see the link to donate for this wonderful organization. And we're having fun with them, doing a magic trick with Carly at the moment. Those of you who are interested in cooking, Visions also has a cookbook that they have for sale. So if you're on the live stream, you will see the button. Just click there. You will find all the information. Carly, are you ready? Okay. So now you have coins in your hand, coins on the table, and coins in your pocket. Okay? For the very first time, can you sh uh, tell me how many coins you have on the table? I have, I have three coins on the table. Oh, no, no. That's not what I meant. I meant, like, how, how much... Like, how much do the coins add up to? So if it was three quarters, it would be 75 cents. Would oh. it be easier if you hold them up for me? Yeah, okay. Okay. This way, I can add them up and see how much they are. Don't lose the ones that you have in your hand, okay? This one. Add this one. This one. All right. You have one yeah. nickel. Is that a quarter and two nickels? Yeah. 
Okay, so that would be twenty five that would be thirty five cents. Is that right? Wait, let me now we know how much is on the table, but I have no idea what's in your hand. So do me a favor, without opening your hand, take the coins that's in your hand, shake it. Well, that's hard to hear. And very carefully, without putting coins in your pocket, shake your pocket as well so I can hear it. Ooh. Okay. If I got this right, you have six coins in your hand and 11 coins in your pocket. Can you tell me, Carly, how many coins do you have in your hand? I have six in my hand. Six coins? And I did that just by hearing the shake. Now, this is where we're going to get a little difficult. Don't look at the coins you have in your hand, okay? Put them off to the side because we're going to need to see how much money is in that. But count, do you have 11 coins in your pocket right now? 11 coins in my pocket. Exactly 11 coins in your pocket. And there's no possible way I could have known that, right? Now, I know this might be a little tough. Can you add up how much money was in your hand? Lavinia, what are you up to at this moment? What are you up to making at this moment? I'm currently working on a tiny little uh, turtle. Well, he looks like a decapitated one at the moment, but it will be a turtle when it's done. <laughs> That's currently a turtle? Yeah, well, uh, without a shell, it's a little naked. Is that the kitty cat for someone? Yes. Oh, and then this is the cat for Eileen. Sorry, I that one. Away. <laughs> they can see you. Thank you. Thank you. Carly? Did you disappear just yet? There we go. Carly, now this is a weird question. I know I have no idea how much is in your hand. How much money uh, did you have in total with those six coins? I had 32. 32 cents? Really? I think, yeah. Now, that was with six coins, you said, right? Uh, marker. Just so I got it right, how many cents? 32. 32 cents. That was what's in your hand? Okay, now, just for you to see something here, okay? I'm going to turn. She happened to have exactly six coins in her hand, which I was able to guess by hearing. She also had 11 coins in her pocket. And, uh, in her pocket. Now, Carly, you said the coins in your hand added up to 32 cents, right? This is the weird thing. Earlier today, when I went to the grocery store to try to find some of the magic tricks we'd be doing today, like the Pringles, I was able to pay with a bill, and they gave me coin change back. And look, <clears throat> hand empty. I'm going to put my hand in my pocket, and I want you to see I have coins in my pocket too. The only thing is, it's only four coins. But I'm going to bring it to the camera very slowly so you can see. Can you add how much I have there, Carly? 25, 30 cents, 31, 32 cents. Exactly the same as you. Carly, give yourself a big round of applause. You did an amazing job helping me. Thank you so very much. And I believe we have one special trick to go. Hi. Are you ready to try a magic trick? Okay, now before we do the magic trick, we're gonna check in with Lavinia just to make sure how she's doing, okay? So make sure you guys are ready, don't move too far. Hey, love. Hello. I was ready this time. All right, well, I'm still part of a turtle, so I'm working on a shell at the moment. Hold on. One of his legs came out. All right, get on this way. So now I gotta work on his turtle shell back. I know it looks really bad in the camera. All right. All right. Here. I'm sorry for all the squeaking. Kind of unavoidable. All right. Don't do that. All right. Okay. I'm gonna start a little. Just need some eyeballs.
for Finding Nemo fans. What was the name of that turtle? <laughs> yeah, that guy. What was his name? Did he have a name? Oh, I don't, he was he was a cool surfer turtle. That's all I remember. And his little baby, the tiny one, was it Squirt? Uh, something like that. His name was Crush. I think it was C. You guys are the smart ones. You remember hey, things. The name? No way. All right. Turtle Tokyo. Our final effect for the day. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Now, how do I pronounce your name? Um, Nula. Nula. Ua? Nula. Can I call you U? What now? No. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to raise the volume for just a moment. My I... name, how you pronounce it, is Aoife. And Aoife? how you spell it is A-O-I-F-E. Look at that. Aoife. All right. Aoife. And your sister's name is? Nula. Nula. Not Nuala. Nula. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Nula and Aoife. Just want to make sure I got that right. Yep. Okay. This is what we'll try with you both. Like I was mentioning before, I've actually done quite a few shows at the South Street Seaport. And one of my favorite effects was this right over here. I would have a simple bag and I would ask for somebody to come and join me. In this case, it would be Nula. Nula. Okay. Can you see that little piece of ball that I just made? Yeah. The idea is to try to make that disappear inside of the bag, okay? Now, in order for me to do that, I have a few things that I could possibly do, but I don't want you to think I'm cheating. So I'm gonna go as close as I can. Can you see the little bump of the ball? Um, yeah, I can. Okay, good. I'm gonna try to make it disappear in front of you. Your job is to try to see if you can catch where it goes, okay? So if I went one, two, three, and I said, the ball disappears, and it's in the bump, is it in the bed? Nope, and no. you put it in your mouth. Is that in my hand? Is it no. my... In your mouth! Mm? <laughs> A lot of people think that. I'll be honest with you, I'm going to start again, just in case, okay? Oh. Now, this is the thing, Nula. I want you to make sure when you're trying to catch me, you know exactly where it is. Can you see the ball? Yeah. Can you see the bag? Yes. I'm gonna put the ball inside the bag. Now look, I'm gonna lift up my sleeves because sometimes people think that I cheat. Sometimes people think that I'm hiding it somewhere, okay? Can you see anything here? Nope. Anything here? Nope. nope. Anything here? No. Nothing there. Yeah. Lavinia tells me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. The yeah. idea is to no. actually make it disappear, we need a magic word. Do you have a favorite magic word, Nula? Um, I'm just going to use abracadabra. That's perfect. Now, Aoife, uh, Aoife, are you able to help us out also? One, two, three, six, yeah. abracadabra. Abracadabra. And right there in front of you, the egg actually goes and it disappears. Did you see it go? Look. Gone. Ah. Uh, it's in the bag. There. Oh, no, it's empty. Not in the bag. Do you think you might know where it is? No. Probably. It might be where Lavinia is. Let's check. Lavinia, do you happen to have the egg? Am I in the middle? Why am I getting pulled out? <laughs> Just to be safe. I, I, if anybody Lavinia, thinks they might know. Look at one of your balloons to see if it's there. Those are balloons. All I have in this room is a hedgehog and a rabbit. But an actual rabbit. She's like down here somewhere on the bottom in her cage. So you know what? Just to be safe. Come close, love. Show your hand empty to them. Not like that. I know we're in Staten Island in front of you. <laughs> there you go. Are there anything? Is there anything in your hand? No. Do me a favor. Show your hand empty. Reach inside the bag. Very okay. good. The bag. Up. Maybe it is. Show it to them. Bring it forward. Take a bow. For them. Take a bow. Your garbage. <laughs> <Inside the bag. laughs> That's amazing. She said it's garbage. If it was garbage, you wouldn't be able to do magic. Nula, what's your magic word? Um, abracadabra. Abracadabra. What? You need a lot more magic than I that. I, I, th I think you got some gook on it. I'm, I'm sorry. Her gook and, and the magic word might have created something we didn't expect. <gasps> a dove? <gasps> it's sugar. Again. So let me just understand. For <laughs> some reason, we made a little egg turn 
into a fully grown dove and not a baby. That's so that, that's pretty much it, it grows that simple. When you add water, that's how it works. We recycled your trash. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so what you know I that? think happened, the dove was inside the bag and the ball was <laughs> inside the bag and you were covering a little bit of part of the He had his garbage bird. in that part bag. Part of the ball was the bag, it was like hiding. Well, if that was the case, I wouldn't be able to hide other things inside the bag. I was showing you the egg. I was showing you the paper. Oh, you know, Ugh. give me a second. Give me a second. Come on, come on. <gasps> there we go. Come on up, buddy. Hello. <gasps> Ow! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's not real. He's not real. <laughs> it's a puppet. So don't try this with your pets at home. But while we finish up, I'm going to show Lavinia's balloons. I'm going to pass you. And then oh, I'll introduce you guys to the animals. I wanted to say thank you all again all for of joining the animals? us for this fun time. If you guys had fun, let me hear you guys make a nice big round of applause. Did you guys enjoy the show? Reaction button, reaction button. Beautiful. And let me see, Lavinia, where are you? Holding your bird. There we go. Can we give <laughs> Lavinia a big round of applause for doing an amazing Hello. job with those balloons? And sugar, too. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. And the other one. I told you they were. There we go. And that's why we don't let them loose. Literally what happens all the time in the house. So, you know, welcome. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, and they laugh at us, too. This is perfect. <laughs> so we wanted to give a special thank you. Uh, one moment, one moment. So, there we go. All right. Got it. Yay. We want to say thank you to everyone for thank having you. a wonderful time with us. Uh, thank you, Maureen. Thank you, Nula. Thank you, uh, uh, Afi, thank you, Amy, especially. Yes, Amy thank Gordon. you, Amy. Amy, Amy has done a wonderful it's job. It's not Afi, it's Ifa. <laughs> Ifa. <laughs> My apologies. Ifa means Ufa in Spanish, just so you know. But um, Amy, we wanted to say thank you so much for for reaching out to us and uh, putting all this together and allowing us to have fun with all of uh, <laughs> all of these kids and families here. And uh, love, I believe, Holly. Uh, a special thank you because this is all yes. together by Holly. Oh yeah, thank you, Holly, so much. <laughs> I'll be bothering you guys shortly, <laughs> probably. They had a great time. Thanks so Follow much. Follow us on You're phone welcome. call. Cool beans. So if you all are interested in seeing more shows like this, please go check out Visions, okay? Again, all their links, uh, if you want to contact them directly, visions.com. Is that right, Amy? Yep, that's correct. Thank you so right. much. Not a problem. So visions.com, you can go and uh, vi no, no, vi sorry, visionsvcb.org. I put it in the chat. Beautiful. So visionsvcb.org. I believe we also uh, pinned it inside of the Facebook. So if you click on that, you will be able to find this special cookbook that was put together by Visions. And if you're interested in joining, uh, I'm sorry, donating, please feel free again also with the same button. And uh, thank you all for <laughs> giving these kids a wonderful time and uh, continuing the free efforts of Visions for all the blind and uh, uh, seeing impaired. Love. Thank you, Omar and Lavinia. That was so much fun. Well, thank you all again. I'm going to kindly ask everyone to unmute. One, two, three. Can we give Lavinia a big round of applause? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye. Okay, Have a wonderful time, all. Thank you again. We had bye. so much fun. Thank Hi, you. I'm glad. Oh, bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Guys. bye, bye. bye, bye little dove. He's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, look at you, Lay. Thank you. Good. Beautiful. <laughs> Say goodbye to Lavinia. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye, guys.